Jesus approached Jericho, a blind man was sitting by the roadside begging. And hearing a crowd going by, he inquired what was happening. They told him, Jesus of Nazareth is passing by. He shouted, Jesus, son of David, have pity on me. The people walked in, walking in, in front, rebuked him, telling him to be silent. But he kept calling out all the more, Son of David, have pity on me. Then Jesus stopped and ordered that he be brought to him. And when he came near, Jesus asked him, What do you want me to do? He replied, Lord, please let me see. Jesus told him, have sight. Your faith has saved you. He immediately received his sight and followed him, giving glory to God. And when they saw this, all the people gave praise to God. The gospel of the Lord. very short word this morning. I'm sorry, you know, I went to bed at four after my last mass this morning. So I had my last mass at three, at three a.m. in the morning. So I went to bed at three, at four. <laughs> so I'm lucky my angel hall woke me up because I didn't even know how I woke up this morning to come here. It was like a miracle. When I woke up, I was... Oh my, this is 8.35, so I had to wash only my face to stand where I am today. But here is the beautiful thing I have to say this morning, the gift of sight, the gift of sight. This is what we need to ask, and this is why Jesus came, to give, it, to give us back our side. He came so that we may see. Those eyes of our hearts that have been blinded and completely obstructed, he came to open them. And this is the most important thing. And biblically, whenever he gives sight, it is beyond just a physical restoration, but it's all even about discernment in understanding, and it's all about seeing, seeing things the way God wants us to see. Lord, that I may see. And you can realize at the end of the gospel, even the people who were not praising God because they saw what happened, their heart too were open and they began to praise God. Let's pray for the opening of our sight so that we may see things as God wants us to see, so that we may open our hearts to his love and so that we may be able to love as he loved us, being able to discover his love in our daily events, in our daily lives. And this cannot happen without the whole process of conversion that the first reading, John speaking to the seven churches, especially today to the church of Ephesus, he tells them, go back to the love of your youth. Do what I taught you and what you were doing before you have changed. You are now imitating what other people do. You are no longer the child that I know. Are you still the child that God knew? 